Good morning, and uh, appreciate the opportunity to be with you this morning. Uh, when we started the effort to with Georgia, withdraw Georgia from the National Common Core Standards, we knew that it would be an uphill battle in doing that. Um, and last year we introduced legislation that would have called for a full-scale withdrawal from the Common Core. Uh, but uh, that became obvious that uh, when it became obvious that that would not uh, pass out of the Senate, we worked on a different version that would call for a um, a, grad, a review of our um, standards as in accordance with the governor's executive order and then a gradual obviously withdrawal from from the standards and we made it clear that uh, we wanted to make it clear that Georgia would not be participating in the nationalization of standards um, as a part of that uh, we were able to uh, include in that legislation the understanding that during the reevaluation period that schools would have um, the ability to use uh, curriculum that were aligned with other standards including the Georgia prior Georgia performance standards which we felt were superior um, which were much better um, but since that time there was been some misunderstanding of the bill and frankly some mischaracterizations by things such as that the bill would withdraw us or keep us from taking SATs or LACT or, or ACTs you know other standardized tests that we normally give which is simply not the case and uh, we're working on on making those um, clarifications um, but there's some general principles that uh, we understand are essential for this bill and uh, we're not withdrawing our support for these general principles and we're going to ask that these be considered and respected as we're moving forward with this process and the first is that the bill needs to make it clear that we're not going to participate in nationalized standards, that Georgia will retain the ability to control what is going to be taught in its classrooms. Um, we need to give uh, the local school systems during this er interim time when we're reviewing our standards the flexibility to be able to use uh, curriculum and instructional material that was aligned with the Georgia performance standards, which we understand are superior and better than the Common Core. Uh, we wish to see on the advisory council that the bill um, creates that there's a majority of the parents on that council. That's been a very important principle for us because we're educating the children of the parents and they need to know what's going on and their voice needs to be heard. It was never meant as a uh, to, to slight teachers. Teachers are part of that and we have to remember that they're part of that process when the state board is establishing its standards. There will be three on the on the advisory council and then teachers will also be a part of the subcommittees of that council. They will be called upon as the experts to provide guidance and interpretation and to assist our parents. So that's very important and that's, that must uh, remain a part of the bill. We must also make sure that uh, we have adequate privacy protections on the personally identifiable information of our students that's collected and, and administered. There's no intention to, to stop um, the collection of information which is necessary for the education of our children. We know that we need to do that. But that information must be protected and certainly there's some information which a state or government has no business at all collecting and the bill needs to make sure that uh, it, it does that. Um, finally, um, throughout the process, and although this wasn't in, a bill, in the bill, we had advocated that at least during this transition period when, we're rev when we are reviewing our standards, that there be a moratorium on the consequences of the high stakes testing for our teacher. Because we know that there would not be a perfect alignment between the standards and those assessments. And this would be a good period where we could have a pilot program for that to let uh, the teachers know what is coming, but it's also fair and, it equ and equitable, equitable. And it recognizes that we're in a transition period. There's no need to continue developing standards which are aligned to the Common Core to have assessments. But we're moving on. We're going to be fair to our teachers, fair to our students, and we're going to have good, high-quality standards in this state. Mm -hmm. That is the ultimate goal. We believe that 
when you start nationalizing standards that you necessarily you will not have top standards they will be middle of the road and you can look at a poor, uh, study coming out of the University of Pennsylvania Department of Education uh, by Andrew Porter and he compared these common core standards to to standards in other states to see how they ranked and they were they were a big supporter of common core standards and he said that these were mediocre middle of the road standards we want more than that in Georgia. We want to be able to look at, at, at standards that were the highest uh, in our nation, high and internationally, that did well and take all that information and create it and develop it and make sure that we have the right to determine our standards and that they, they be the highest um, standards possible. So we say that to clarify our position and to let everyone know where we are, are on this and what our principles are and what we're looking for out of this legislation. So uh, just have a few minutes and I'll be glad to take a question or two. Yes, sir.